Welcome to Mail Smartly. In today's video, we uncover seven things you thought Outlook couldn't do, but it does that very well. Get ready for this amazing gems and powerful features that can transform the way you use Outlook. So let's get started. So the first option is snooze. When you receive an email and you are in the middle of something, you cannot respond to that email. So you have only one option left is to snooze that email. So you can set up snooze feature that will remove that email from your inbox and that email will be landed in the snooze folder. And when you set that specific time, that email will reappear in your inbox. So let's understand how it works is to simply select that email and go to the home tab and simply hit snooze under tag section when you click on that snooze that will allow you to reappear that email in your inbox in your selected time frames snooze consists of few by default options available like later today this evening, tomorrow, this weekend, next week. And you can also customize your date and time by selecting this choose a date. When you select this, you will get an option which is custom time. Click on it. You can select your calendar date and time as well. Simply hit save and your email is simply removed from your inbox like I will select later today. So you will see my email is removed from my inbox and that email is shifted to that snooze folder which is available in the left navigation section you will see my email is available here so this email will reappear on the time you have selected in case if you want to attend that email instantly or after some time before the time comes you simply go to the snooze folder attend that email or if you want to again republish that email in your inbox, simply select that email, again go to the snooze button and select unsnooze. That will again bring your email to the original location where it must be before. So this is the very outstanding feature which I loved. But the problem is this feature is only available in new Outlook as well as Outlook on the web. If you are using Outlook Classic, that option is not available there. So next is Quick Parts. Quick Parts is a feature of Microsoft Outlook which allow user to create and reuse a specific text or image in your email message body. If you are using a specific part on a regular basis, you can use it very easily. So I have already created an email and in this email, this part, which is my reference letter number, I want to use in my future emails every time. So instead of rewriting this or copying from other space and paste it here, I use this reference as a quick part. So first I have to select this portion, the entire portion. Now I have to click on this insert tab where I can see this text section and here is my quick parts. Simply Click on it and you will see two options over here, auto text and save selection to quick parts gallery. What I really needed here. So I simply hit save. Now create new building block. Now first I have to name it. So I name it as reference. Now gallery is quick parts, which is okay with me. Category general, no problem. I can also add some description here. So I insert the same name which is reference here save in normal email dot dotm this is the format of the quick part i don't want to change it and the last option is options which is insert content only so i also want to keep as it is and simply hit ok now my quick part is saved here now you can see again, when I click on quick parts, my reference is saved over here. Now, how I can use it in my future emails. First, I close this tab. Now, again, I click my new email over here. Now, 
whenever I create my new email and I want to use that quick part, I simply go to the insert tab, keep my cursor where I want to insert that quick part. Now again, go to the quick part over here and simply use my mouse left button and you will see my quick part is inserted in my email message body. That way you can very easily use quick parts which are generally reusable or you want to use that specific text or image constantly on your email body. You can use this quick parts. If we talk about this quick parts, this quick part is not available in new outlook as well as outlook on the web. Next is focus inbox. Focus inbox is a tab which arranges your, all your incoming emails according to their importance and rest of the emails are arranged in the other folder. So let's check out. So currently I'm on my Outlook Classic. When I click on my inbox, I observe there are two options over here, which is all and unread. So I simply click on the view tab. In the focused inbox, there is an option show focused inbox. When I click on that, my all and unread is changes to focused and other. So that's the topic we are talking about. So the focused inbox consists of those emails which are important for me, which Outlook automatically analyze those emails which I regularly receive and I open that email which seems to be important for me. Or in the other tab, you will see those emails which are not useful or necessary for me. So in case if you want to change the mode of that email to other to focus, you simply need to click right mouse button, click on move to focused. So that will change the nature of that email. And from the next time when you receive the email from that email address, that will be automatically treated as focused email. In case if you are getting a few emails in the focus inbox, repeat the process, click right mouse button, click on move to other. So that email will be sent to the other folder. So if I open my new outlook, so the new outlook by default consists of these two folders, focused and others. That option in the view tab is removed from the new outlook. So this option is automatically removed from outlook on the web as well as new outlook. If you are a regular user of new outlook or web, you will get only two options, which is focused and others. Similarly in new outlook, if you want to change the mode of the focused email to other, simply click right mouse button, go to move. And here you have to select move to other inbox or you can select always move to other inbox. If you select always move to other inbox, that means in future, if you receive the email from this email address, that email will be landed in the other folder. And if you want to change the mode of the other folder emails, simply click right mouse, mouse button, go to move and again, go to move to focus inbox or always move to focus inbox. There is a major difference in both of them. If you select this move to focus inbox, that means you are only changing that email for the one time to other to focus inbox. But if you select always move to focus inbox, that means in future, if you receive the email in the other folder, that email will be landed in your focus inbox. Now the next option is auto reply. When you are on a vacation and you are unable to reply or respond to the email you receive in your inbox from your sender. So you can set up an auto reply that will automatically give them an email in reply and update them of your non availability. Now currently I am on my new outlook and all I have to do is to click on this gear symbol available on the top right corner of your screen. When you click on it, you are redirected to the setting dialog box. Here, what you have to do, you have three sections over here. In the first section, you have to select accounts. From the second section, you have to select automatic reply. So this automatic reply is designed to reply all your emails when you are unable to respond from yourself. So currently my Gmail account is selected. So this setting is not supported in this account. 
so all you have to do is to change the exchange account so i simply change my exchange account now this toggle is currently turn off when i turn on this toggle you will see few options here send reply during a time period that means you have to set up a specific time over here of your unavailability your start time and your end time system automatically takes today's date and time and the end time is after one day so you can raise the time if you are not available for 7 days you can set it to 6 of april you can set up the time also now the three another options are block my calendar for this period most of the people want to block it for this period you can check this box next is automatically decline new invitation for invites that occur during this period which you also want and the last option is decline and cancel my meeting during this period this is the option which is apply for your meetings which are already scheduled for this period now the last is you have to draft a specific email for your sender so they will get to know that you are not available in the office and in your absence mr alex which i have assigned to support or to help my senders his mobile number and his email address so this is the simple draft i have created for my sender you can create your own according to your requirement now the last option is send replies only to contacts this is very important if you receive an email from multiple users or multiple senders some of them are already in your contact and some are some are not so if you select this check box outlook will only reply to the contacts you have already added in your outlook contact if you have not selected this every email you receive will get this email as a reply simply hit save and boom from today or this time starts till this time that email will be sent to your sender automatically outlook notification is one of the most important feature of microsoft outlook so in this part you will learn how you can enable and modify your notification according to your requirement so currently i am on my new outlook and to make that changes all you have to do is to click again on the top right corner gear symbol click on it and your setting dialog box appears three sections once again click on general from the first section from the second section you have to select notification and you will see few options over here all the options or all the toggles are currently off so the first option is notification in outlook get notification from outlook and other apps so first turn this toggle on now you will see when i turn this on all the other related toggles automatically turn on so if i click on this expand you will see few options here allow notification to play sound or send a notification when outlook is closed you can use any of these options according to your requirement if you want to play a sound you can turn this toggle on or if you want to send notification when outlook is closed you can select this option now notification me about choose when and how you want to be notified so if you receive a new email or a mentioned email you have already turned this notification toggle on but if you expand this option you will see few options for you first notification style by default outlook selected this for you that means when you receive an email you will get a small notification box over here on your screen on the bottom right corner second is none if you select none that means you will get the notification but you will not get any pop up on your screen now only from favorite people you can turn this on if you have already created a list of favorite people you can create this toggle and this option is play sound which is also 
over here i have selected over here so if you get that pop up you will get the sound also now when someone mention you in an email message show in notification pan somebody sometime mention you in the email message body instead of direct mailing you or keep you in a cc or bcc that will work for you as a notification next is calendar so this is also toggle which is already on click on expand once again you will have three options for this notification first is on the middle of the screen second is on the bottom right corner and third is none by default this bottom right corner is selected you can change it according to your requirement this is only for the calendar notifications now again you will turn this sound on now the third option is documents comments edit and mentions which is on again click on the expand and here is the simple option given to you which is so in notification pan which is already on so you can make minor changes according to the requirement and the options given in this new outlook simply save it and this pop up will help you when you get a new email and you won't miss an important email or event in future sometime you want to keep a copy of every email you receive in your inbox you can also make this happen in new outlook so again you have to click on this gear symbol available on the top right corner of your screen now here you have to select mail from the first section from the second section you have to select forwarding now i have two email addresses added in it one is gmail and another is outlook so if i select gmail forwarding is not supporting for the selected account so i have to change this account to my outlook now you can forward your email to another account first you have to enable forwarding when i turn this toggle on forwarded my email to you have to enter the email address you want to add for all the emails you receive in your inbox now you have to check this box keep a copy of forwarded messages now simply hit save and and you will get all the emails forwarded to the another email address you have added here in this part you will learn my favorite which is new search folder that feature help you to separate your specific criteria of emails to a separate folder where you can very easily find out your specific requirement of emails or bunch of emails in it outlook classic consists of a excellent feature which is new search folder it will create a separate folder in your navigation section and that folder consists of emails and the category of that email is decided by yourself let's take an example so currently i am on my outlook classic and uh, i click on the folder tab over here now the first section which is new there is an option new search folder when i click on this new search folder you will see new search folder dialog box that consists of multiple options over here reading email mail from people and list organizing mail custom so the the best section i love is organizing mail so this section consists of few options over here category email large mail old mails mail with attachments mail with specific word so that means when i select uh, an option say i select this mail with attachment and simply hit okay so i will get uh, another folder over here which only consist emails with attachments and the greatest option i love is large mails so when i select this large mail system ask me show mails at least this large so i can click on this choose button now show mail greater than 
KB, which is by default. I can change it according to my requirement. So I simply type say 300. Simply hit OK. Now hit OK once again. And you will see the separate folder appears here larger than 300 KB. That means I have 134 unread emails which are more than 300 KB size. So this feature helped me to remove these unnecessary large emails from my inbox and to keep my inbox lighter. Although there are other methods to find out this type of emails, you can also use advanced search or the search tab available over here. But this is the quickest method I have learned to separate or to figure out those emails which are more than your specified size. Finally, if you have learned something new from this video, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. And please don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solvers videos I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.